All right, guys, everybody right now is streaming for church, and we are uh, trying to figure out the most efficient way to do this. A lot of people have access to this console. This is the Behringer X32 console, and they are trying to stream into OBS or Wirecast or some other digital streaming platform. And so I want to give a quick video tutorial on how to set this up the easiest way to go out your USB. Uh, there are some things we can do at the end that can customize this to your needs, but for right now, we're going to set it up to map our main output. So whatever mix you make that you would hear in your room on your main PA, you can also take that same mix right out to your uh, streaming platform. So let's get started. First thing we want to do, hit setup and confirm that we are on version 4.0 software. If not, you just go to Behringer, go to the X32 area, find uh, downloads, and you can download the updated software and put that in real fast. Okay, now that we've confirmed that version 4.0 is on, the reason we need that is because it gives us user output routing capability. So next we're gonna hit routing, and we're going to page over until we find outputs. All right, so here we're on our output tab. And what we wanna do is confirm where our main outs are routed. Typically, it's going to be 15 and 16. If you have a smaller console or a rack console, uh, usually it's gonna be seven and eight. But it's usually your last two outputs, you have your mains set up to route out. So here you can see on my console, 15 is set up for main left, 16 is set up for main right. So the next thing we want to do is page over to the right all the way to the user area. This is new custom feature for uh, version 4. So what we're going to do here, first encoder knob, we're going to push so that we go to our outputs. Now we have the ability to set up custom outputs, 48 of them to be exact, but we just need to use 1 and 2. Uh, this is what your OBS software is going to grab as a default. So output 1, we want to use this third knob and come down to output. And we are going to scroll down here to output 15 and we select it by pushing the button. You can see now output one is going to mirror output 15, which is our main left. We push the next or scroll down and get to output two. Now we can come over here, select output 16 on the far right. And that's now going to have um, output one and two of our custom user setting mirroring our main outs. Next thing we need to do is set that into USB. So we page back over to the left and we come all the way over to card. Okay, now these are card output settings. So what we're going to do is on our encoder number one, we're going to scroll all the way down and we're going to get to user and we're going to choose user out one through eight. You can see now it's telling us that channel one and two are patched uh, to match our main outs. And so at this point, you should be able to uh, connect your, your USB A to B cable to the card output on your console, plug it into your laptop. And uh, if you select X USB as your um, as your audio con you know connect card, then you should be good to go because it's by default, especially in OBS, looking for channel one and two, which you have told it to be your main left and right out. All right, guys, so that's a quick video of how you can use the Behringer X32 console to set up your routing with custom user outputs to route to channels one and two out your USB card and get that into your DAW or into your streaming software and, and have a, a mirrored image or mirrored sound of your main output into your live stream. Uh, check back for more videos. Let me know if you got any other questions. I'm happy to help out in the comments. And, uh, yep, keep making great music. See you.